Executive Mosaic has nominated General Dynamics Mission Systems President Chris Brady for the WASH 100 list of commendable government contracting leaders for the fifth consecutive year. Data is the key to unlocking important insights that can inform decisions on and off the battlefield. Executive Mosaic spoke with Greg Melanson, Chief Growth Officer at Acuity, to get a better understanding of how federal agencies can overcome their data challenges and use analytical insights to achieve decision advantage. Communicating and sharing data rapidly is one of six operational imperatives declared by Army Secretary Christine Wormuth, and the Army is working tirelessly to build a data-centric force. The U.S. Navy awarded HII's Newport News shipbuilding business a contract modification worth up to $1.2 billion to complete engineering overhaul of the USS Boise. Derek Tornier, director of the Space Development Agency and a previous WASH 100 awardee, said the rise in SDA's budget seeks to show that the agency is a real market for space industry leaders and investors. Executive Mosaic's GovCon index endured the roller coaster ride during the holiday shortened week. Besides closing 0.64% higher on February 23, the index that tracks the performance of 30 notable government contractors marked six straight winning weeks. Garrison Blight, a 13-year Booz Allen Hamilton veteran, has been named Vice President for Global Government at the McLean, Virginia-based information technology consulting company. NASA has started soliciting proposals as part of the on-ramp process for a potential five-year, $476 million contract to acquire Earth observation data derived from constellations of small satellites operated by commercial entities. Vikram Kamani, Senior Director of Defense at General Dynamics Information Technology Business, has been appointed Vice President of Enterprise Solutions for Defense at the Falls Church Virginia-based government IT services contractor. Gary Barber, a 23-year information technology industry veteran, has been appointed Vice President and Chief Technology Officer for the Department of Homeland Security Portfolio at LMI.